Indeed is a very strange word indeed. Now the reason I say that it's a strange word is because it's one of those words that when you stop and think about it, we don't actually need it. We could perfectly express ourselves without ever using the word indeed. But having said that, it is a useful word. So it's useful, but we don't need it. That sounds like a contradiction, I know, but it's not. And the reason it's useful is because it is used a lot by native English speakers. And you, as an English learner, can really demonstrate a higher level if you start to incorporate indeed into your both spoken and written English in a more active way. So in this, I think it's the fifth episode of my series of short videos on useful advanced English vocabulary. I'm going to be looking at the four ways of using indeed in English. But the first use we're going to look at for indeed today is when we use it to emphasize. And when we use it to emphasize, we often use it in a sentence with very. And as I said, it's not really necessary. It, you could say it's redundant in the sentence, but it's just to emphasize, to, to add more impact to the sentence. So let's look at a few examples as always. The first one is, Amy is a very naughty dog indeed. I know we have a lot of Amy fans on this this channel, but you don't know her. She is she is a naughty dog sometimes. So she is a very naughty dog indeed. So really, just emphasising. She's. I could perfectly just say she is a very naughty dog, but that indeed just adds a bit more punch, a bit more of an impact. Another similar sentence. Uh, it was a very difficult exam indeed. It was a very difficult exam indeed. Again, just emphasising very. The second use of indeed is when you're giving extra information to support something that was previously said. So again, let's look at some examples. She's a great student. Indeed, she passed the exam with flying colors. So again, maybe indeed is redundant there. You know, you don't really need indeed in that context. Another example with the same use. I'm grateful, indeed honored to accept the award. So there I'm imagining I'm ex accepting some kind of award, maybe at the Oscars, and I'm grateful, indeed honoured. So extra information, just adding to the fact that I'm grateful, indeed honoured, to accept the award. Another very common use of the word indeed is when you're responding to someone. So uh, the person you're speaking to says something and you agree with them or you want to support what they are saying uh, just by using the word indeed, often with an auxiliary verb or with the verb to be. Do you like banoffee pie? I do indeed. <laughs> do you like banoffee pie? I do indeed. Banoffee pie is a fantastic dessert, by the way. Go and find it if you haven't tried it before, but um, I do indeed. So I could just say I do or yes, I do. Really, it's just saying yes, but I do indeed adds a bit more, a bit more emphasis. Another example with a different auxiliary verb. Has he gone already? <laughs> he has indeed. He has indeed, so yes, he has. Yes, he has gone. But it doesn't always have to be a question. Sometimes the person you're speaking to may just make an observation and you agree with them by using the word indeed, sometimes just on its own. For example, Asturias is a beautiful part of Spain. Indeed. So I'm just responding, responding to the person who believes that Asturias is a beautiful part of Spain just by saying, indeed, I'm agreeing. And the last use of indeed, which Probably, probably the least common use, but it is used. You may have heard it in films, especially uh, sort of m detective films or murder mystery films. Um, and it's when we use it, we're sort of repeating a question um, to emphasize that we don't know the answer, or maybe it's a bit of a, a, bit of a mystery. Who stole the jewelry? Who indeed? So maybe these are two detectives trying to find out who stole the, the jewelry. Who indeed? So I don't know, but it, it's an important question. It's a mystery. Okay, so I recommend you start using indeed more in your active English because, as I said, it really does just demonstrate that you, you have a good command of advanced English. Okay, I'll see you soon for another video.